I'm Adam Olinger. I just got done seeing Ninja Turtles. It's Sunday. I probably won't get this review up for a couple more days uh, just because I'm, I'm dying from some sort of a disease I have right now and I don't feel like editing. Uh, my children went with me, my seven-year-old and my four-year-old. They elected not to do this review because they have no respect for myself, for my show, or really anything else in this world. And I, and I respect them for that. My expectations were actually pretty high for this Ninja Turtles flick. Uh, the last one was very mediocre across the board. For some reason, Michael Bay and crew decided to make the turtles 15 feet tall and just like these hulking dudes, which I just find ridiculous. I, I know pretty much everybody thinks that's stupid. I don't know why they did that. Like who, who on the, the committee thought, let's make these like transformers in size because the kids will think that's awesome. Nobody thinks that's awesome. So going into this sequel, you already have like lessened expectations for that. However, I was excited because we have Bebop and Rock steady in the trailer. We got Krang, Shredder's back. Uh, he looks like he's more normal, not a Transformer as well. And it looked like he was focused on the Turtles. Most of that stuff is in the sequel and it works very well. You get a more cartoon oriented Turtles movie. Things that work. The, the turtles camaraderie, their, their brotherly love is there. I think the turtles are, have more personality this time. Donatello, they even look a lot different. Uh, I'm, in, I'm uh, pulled up to my house right now, so there's neighbors around outside with their children looking at me like, what the hell's he doing? D -d -d Don't worry about what I'm doing, Gladys. Go back, go back to your mediocre life. They made the turtles look different from each other. Donatello's thinner. He's kind of frail looking, actually. He's super nerdy, of course. Michelangelo's really funny albeit a bit too stupid this time around. He's borderline a, a six-year-old. Um, instead of just being this party dude, he's he's kind of an idiot. Uh, however, I still got a, a lot of laughs from him. Leonardo, of course, leads. Um, Raphael. Raphael, holy crap, I actually liked him for once. Usually I'm anti-Raphael. I don't get his, his bullshit that he does. He's always like off on his own and gruff and just pissy. But this time it made sense. You know, he was he was mad at Leo because Leo was hiding things from him. And, uh, you know, Raph, Raph thought they were part of a family. Well, I mean, they are a family, but he thought that that family meant something to Leo. Um, their weapons. Why are they ninjas? Why are they ninjas? That's this go, goes back to why they're gigantic. It makes no sense. Them being large and being ninjas does not coexist. If you're this giant monster of a thing, you can just pick up six guys at once and throw them, which they can. So why why learn how to do martial arts? It made no sense to begin with. And to that uh, extent, they don't use their weapons at all. I don't think the turtles at any point in this film fight a Foot Clan member, which is more puzzling that they even put the Foot Clan in here at all. It was cool to see ninjas, but if you're not gonna fight said ninjas, what's the point? There is a, a cool opening sequence where they're in uh, vehicles, and I guess Raphael takes out three of them there. Um, he doesn't use his weapons, he just kind of jumps at them. And, and that was neat, that was, that was a fun sequence, and I wanted more of that. Um, in the middle, there's this fantastic plane sequence uh, that leads to a little tank battle, they're going down the river, it's on the trailers, it's very cool. Uh, a little nitpick in the trailer, Raphael is going to jump out the plane and he pumps himself up and he goes, yes, 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 and he jumps out. I was waiting for that and they changed it in the movie. I hate when they change shit in the movie from the trailer. God. Uh, still a great scene, but come on. Don't put the good version in the trailer then leave it out of the movie. That's annoying. When you're watching it, you're looking for a couple things. One, you're looking for a lot of turtles doing fun, stupid things. Two, you're looking for them to kick all, all sorts of ass. The first thing was there. The second thing, no, not at all. Krang, awesome seeing him there. And his voice was pretty great, too. It was just, just as stupid as it was in the show. Uh, I liked all the stuff with him. Casey Jones uh, is nothing like his initial iteration. He's not some rebel dude from the streets. He's a, a cop now. He makes no sense. He's very lame in the film. I know the guy's Arrow. I never watched the show, but okay, maybe that's cool for you. Megan Fox as April O'Neil. <sighs> what, what do you say? She's eye candy. She knows she's eye candy. Everybody knows she is. Th that's not what we want from April. I mean, granted, April always has been, 
you know, pretty, pretty hot in my mind. The, she was more than that. And in here, it's like the, the writer slash director went out of their way to find ways for her to be in ridiculous outfits. Almost forgot the best part of the movie, which is Bebop and Rocksteady. These guys make it work well. He's got the purple shades and the mohawk. He's got some, they got great lines. Uh, super comic relief, just like in the cartoon series. And Shredder's super serious, just like he was also in the cartoon. I mean, Shredder was kind of an idiot in the cartoon, but nevertheless, he was the straight man of the group. And then there's all these like crazy uh, idiots surrounding him, like Baxter Stockman and then uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. So that worked really well. Shredder's super underutilized, really disappointed with how they handled him. Once again, setting up sequel stuff. But Bebop and Rocksteady, uh, they stole the show for sure, every scene they're in. And they're in a good amount, so it's not all bad. Uh, it does more right than it does wrong. I just would have liked more action. That's all. Score-wise, it's tough. Zero through ten in a movie like this. This isn't a masterpiece of, of cinema, you know? So how do you scale something like that? And that's the problem I think video game reviews have, too. How do you review a game like Journey, which got 10s and A's across the board, but it's like an, a two-hour experience, but it's a fantastic experience compared to The Witcher, which is like 100 hours? You know, how do you, how do, you do that? I think it's just the mindset that you go in with. So ranking a movie like this, you have to look at it from the light of it's for kids, it's a family movie. How does it stack up with things like Zootopia and, and stuff like this? I mean, maybe not even... That's maybe an unfair comparison because Zoot Zootopia is smartly written and uh, it, you know it makes sense and has a lot of creativity. Where this Ninja Turtles film is, it's exactly what you expect it to be. Uh, so I'm gonna give it out of ten, uh, ten being the best, zero being the worst. We're gonna go six point five. We'll say this is from a, a Turtles fan who thinks that these giant turtles look stupid. I don't mind how they physically look, like the faces and stuff, that they're more closely aligned with real turtles. That's fine, but just shrink them down. Shrink them down somehow. And then you have a better movie because you can have them fight ninjas, you know? You can have them fight uh, characters and not just jump on people and crush people. Ah, I just, I, I can't get over how stupid that concept is. Anyway, yeah, 6.5 out of 10. If you like the last movie, I think you're going to like this one more. It, it does more right than wrong. If you like the old movies uh, a lot still, you know, I, I, I look at those old movies like, all right, when I was a kid, I enjoyed them. They're pretty stupid now. The first one's by far the best. Um, but if you're holding on to those or the comic book, you're not going to like this. This is something different for sure. But you already knew that if you saw the last one. Anyway, that's it. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And uh, until then, I'll see you next time in the car.